Kitty. In a wooded place where all our dreams will meet tomorrow, there bubbled a small crystal stream that flowed quickly around the rocks and pebbles. There it began to run slower and slower as it widened into a reflective pool, alongside of which flowers grew in great profusion. In the pool, the water spun slowly in gentle eddies, as if to taste the morning, softly licked the silvered strands of a tiny beach. Nestled in sand, away from the edge of the lapping water, sat a solitary egg. It had lain there for some time, sheltered from prying eyes by the long, graceful arms of a fern. The sun slipped quietly between the fingered branches of the plant, and as if eager to make something come alive, reached down and wrapped the small ivory-colored egg in all its warmth and tenderness. The rays of light and bright danced about the egg for an hour or two, and then, just as the light was about to dance away into the shadows, the egg crickled and cracked. Piece by piece the shell fell away, and there, in all of his newborn splendor, stood a small, wobbly-legged turtle named Titi. Titi looked about and for the first time in his brand new life saw all the wonders of nature. In wide-eyed wonder, he took his first clumsy step. Unfortunately, as luck would have it, his shell shifted a little to the right, threw him off balance, and down the sand hill he slid. By the time Titi reached the bottom, all that could be seen was a strange mottled shell and two big blinking blue eyes. Realizing that there was no danger, Titi carefully stuck his legs back outside and heavily got back on his feet. He shifted the weight of the shell, this way and that, and once he was sure that all was secure, he began waddling up the trail and away from the stream. He struggled up the path beyond the ferns and went deep into the forest in search of... what? Titi stopped in the middle of the trail and realized that he didn't know who he was, nor why. That must be where I'm going, he said, to search out who I am and find out who I belong to. Satisfied, he ponderously set out in search of himself. Titi wobbled up the trail until he came to a tall old tree. Without a bit of doubt, he walked right up to that tree and said, What am I? He paused, waiting for an answer, but nothing happened. He twisted his head quizzically and asked again, What am I? Do I belong to thee? As could be expected, the tree said nothing. He stood there waiting for an answer. He waited, and he waited, and he waited. Finally realizing that the rude old tree was not going to answer his question, he continued his quest. The day was wearing on, and his shell was feeling heavier, when the trail broke into a beautiful meadow, abounding in flowers of every color of the rainbow. Titi stopped to rest in the shadow of some buttercups, he had just taken a long, deep breath when the sky filled with the gentle fluttering of hundreds of butterflies. The air seemed to swirl and dance as they hovered above the bewildered turtle. Hello, he said in his gentle voice. What am I? Do I belong to thee? The meadow reverberated with their tinkling bell-like laughter. Do you belong to us? They rang and giggled. I think, one of them chimed, that you belong to turtles. That is what you are. Then, quite suddenly, a soft, delicious breeze began to blow, and the butterflies rose into the sky. But what is a turtle? shouted a frustrated Titi. No answer came as the butterflies flirted with a wisp of cloud and gently floated away. More determined than ever to find an answer to his question, he set off through the meadow as fast as his stubby legs would carry him. Because of the burden of their heavy shells, turtles have never been known for their speed. Titi was no exception, as he slowly followed the twisting trail. Only part way across the meadow, which had begun to seem to him more and more like a desert, Titi happened upon a grey squirrel, or rather, the squirrel had happened upon him. While on their way to the nut trees on the other side of the meadow, the squirrel tripped over the hapless turtle and sent him flying. She would have kept right on going, except Titi was lying upside down. With a push and much grunting, the squirrel managed to bring the turtle right side up with a thump. His big eyes blinking, Titi popped his legs out one by one as the squirrel started to run away. Who am I? Titi shouted. Do I belong to thee? The squirrel would have kept running, except it was such a silly question that she felt she just had to answer. You are a turtle, she said, just a little peeved. I know that, said Titi. The butterflies told me. What I need to know is, do I belong to thee? That poor squirrel almost got the giggles. 
thinking of what a little turtle would look like trying to climb a tree. No, she said with a chuckle, you do not belong to me. You belong to thee, to yourself. Titi was really getting confused now. But where can I find me? he asked. The squirrel thought and said, go back to your place of shelling near the still pond in the wood. Stand at the edge of the water and slowly peek over the edge. There you will find who you are and who you belong to. With that, she dashed off into the woods. Poor little Titi turned around on the trail and set off back to the pond. By now his shell was becoming a real burden as he lumbered along past the buttercups and past the old tree. Finally, he came back to the place of shelling. Just as the squirrel had told him, he slowly peeked his head over the water and looked down. Sure enough, there he was in all his reflective splendor. That's who I am, he said. But who do I belong to? Do I belong to thee? He asked his own reflection. He waited patiently for an answer, but of course there was none. Suddenly, the stillness of the water was broken as eight little heads popped to the surface. Each looked just like Titi. Then I must belong to thee, he shouted with the joy of recognition. One of the turtles tittered a bit and said, You don't belong to thee, them, or me. You belong to you. I belong to me, Titi said in a voice filled with wonder. Then he remembered the silence of the tree and the laughter of the butterflies as he had asked, Do I belong to thee? He remembered what the squirrel said when she told him that he belonged to no one except himself. A silly smile crossed his face as he realized what everyone had been saying. With a kerplunk, he jumped into the cool, clear waters of the stream. For once, he didn't worry about him or them or thee. As he slipped beneath the waters, he said ever so gleefully, I don't belong to anyone. I just belong to me. If you've ever wondered, do I belong to thee? Remember in his shell, a turtle called Titi.